so we are, we have um, uh, very many people in Uganda were expectant that indeed we would be going back today. Um, we had activities today. Um, we had a um, uh, number of uh, stopover engagements along the way to, to Kampala and uh, culminating into uh, a prayer function. Uh, all these had already been arranged and agreed upon by the Ugandan security. This is why what happened this morning you know, completely took us by surprise. Because there had actually been meetings between our people and, uh, and the police. And they had agreed on all this, saying they didn't know about this order at all uh, of stopping us. Others saying, well, if it happened, uh, they can still travel in the evening. Uh, they should uh, try and travel in the evening. And um, uh, we were informed that at one, the Minister of uh, Information in Uganda communicated to the media that um, we had now been cleared to travel. Even as we were driving down here, um, uh, our leaders in Kampala uh, were in a meeting and they informed us that they had got information that um, it may be unsafe if we travel this evening. That actually there may have been a plan which they are uh, uh, getting to learn now of stopping us from going during the day at all so that we arrive in the evening and if we arrive uh, in the evening or at night, this, uh, this flight arrives around 7. Um, and if we arrive at night, uh, that they then have some plans of taking us somewhere. I don't know yet. We are, we are evaluating all this information. And um, I think by the end of our lunch, uh, we are going to decide whether to embark on that aircraft at later this evening or not. Um, uh, as I have said, things are changing uh, almost by the minute. Um, so I don't know whether we shall be traveling this evening and if we are not, when exactly we may be traveling. Incidentally, we tried to book to travel tomorrow morning on the same flight of 755 and we were told that it's completely booked up. Uh, we cannot find any seat on that flight. I think uh, the government of Uganda is best placed to talk about its worries. Um, what I can say broadly is that the swearing in tomorrow is the swearing in of an illegitimate president. We shall not recognize the outcome of the election. We shall not recognize the government that is formed out of the sham elections. And so we treat the event of tomorrow in that light. So to answer your question, yes, I think um, Mr. Museveni is, uh, has reason to worry about his illegitimacy. Because um, um, whereas he can steal an election and say I got 70%, uh, the people are there on the ground now telling him that they are the voters and they don't uh, trust him as their leader. They are, they are on the streets.